this video, we're going to look at how to round numbers to a certain number of significant figures. To begin though, let's quickly recap what significant figures are, using these two numbers as examples. The first significant figure of a number is the first non-zero digit as you read the number from left to right. So in 3476, the 3 is the first significant figure because that's the first digit reading from left to right and importantly it's not a zero. Whereas for 0 0.004031 this 4 is the first significant figure because as we read from left to right these first three digits are all zeros so we don't count them. Once you've found the first significant figure Every digit after it is another significant figure. So for 3476, this 4 would be the second significant figure, the 7 would be the third, and the 6 would be the fourth. Meanwhile, for 0 0.004031, this 0 would be the second significant figure, the 3 would be the third, and the 1 would be the 4th. And notice that this time the 0 does count as a significant figure because it's to the right of the first significant figure. So with that out of the way, let's now try a couple of questions. To round 3476 to two significant figures, the first thing we do is find the second significant figure which is this 4. We can call this the last digit, and this is the number that we have to round up or down. To figure out if we round it up or down though, we have to look at the next digit, so the 7, which we call the decider, because it decides which way we round. If the decider is 4 or less, then we keep the last digit the same. But if it's 5 or more, we have to round up the last digit. So because the decider here is 7, we have to round this 4 up to a 5. And now because we've rounded it, we change these last two digits to zeros, and finish by writing in the 3 in front, giving us 3500 as our answer. Another way of thinking about it is that because our last digit was in the hundreds column, we just round the whole number to the nearest hundred. So 3,476 becomes 3,500. For this next one, we need to round 0 0.004031 to three significant figures. So this time, the first thing we do is find the third significant figure, which is this three and we can label this our last digit. Next, we look at the number on the right, which is our decider. And because it's a one, which counts as being four or less, it tells us we're gonna have to keep the last digit the same. So we keep our last digit as a three, and the decider becomes a zero. However, whenever we round decimals like this, we actually don't keep any zeros at the end of the number. So we'd get rid of it and end up with 0 0.00403. Now, one last thing I want to mention is that one annoying thing with significant figures is that with a number like 4300, we can't really tell whether it has two significant figures or four. This is because it could have been rounded to two significant figures from a number like 4,315 or something. But it could also be exactly 4,300 and not have been rounded at all, in which case the two zeros would count as significant figures as well. There isn't really any way of knowing which one it is, and it shouldn't really matter in your exams, but it is worth you being aware of. Anyway, that's everything for this video, so hope you found it useful, and we'll see you again soon.